Hey, welcome back. Previously with Rob and Sherry, they get forced to stay in and not take the boat out due to high winds. So then they take us to Glen Canyon Dam to enjoy some spectacular views. On this episode, Rob and Sherry get the boat ready for transport. Later that day, they load it on the trailer and head home. Good morning. This is day four. Today, we're taking the boat home. So, so we got up early. I got a goofy dog. Anyway, um, just kind of cinching things up. I put some things away. Then we'll take the boat over to the lunch area. And then the first thing we do is de <laughs> detach the, uh, the dinghy and the motor. Get that loaded in the truck first. Then we go get the trailer and then we load that on the boat onto the trailer. Mm -hmm. That's the plan so far. Anyway, so busy morning. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're here at the dock now. Uh, where we load up, taking the dinghy off. And we'll take the motor off later. I gotta go up and get the truck. You see up there, we're at the dock. And time to get the truck. So, we're getting there. Already exhausted. So we got the dinghy down at the, by the truck down here. And we got to try to wedge it into the back. Should be fun. Sure. And that's where we're going. Back to the truck. There's the dinghy. We got the dinghy loaded. Boat's out there. Dinghy's in here. Closing her up. Time to go get the trailer. Well, off we go. Not a fun begin. Alrighty, so, get the trailer all hooked up. Been stored over here for a while. She's ready to roll. Let's go get ourselves a boat. Now that I have the boat trailer attached, I have to drive down a very long boat launch. So we did not show the procedure of us loading it on the trailer due to safety and we just want to make sure we do everything right. So the next shot will be when we're done. Okay guys, there she is. Got her out of the water. We would show that to you and stuff, but there's so many things going on. We just want to be careful and safe so we show you the aftermath that it's on already. Remember I talked to you about the mussels that are in this lake? So we were inspected and uh, our boat was in good shape, especially since we have new bottom paint. But one of the things they do is they put a little tag on here that tells uh, whoever, whatever lake I go into next when we were last inspected. So we can go back in the water in 18 days and then in the summertime it's up to 30 days. Something like that. So anyway, that's a tactic they use right here, a little pin. And if you ever use the lakes down here, it's protection about transferring mussels from one lake to another. Everything is on board. We just got to start taking things apart, get this thing ready to transport. And we got to get the motor off the back, take off the canvases, take the carpets out so they blow over. Uh, and we're set to go. So, there you go, guys. We'll be on the road soon. All right, guys. We're in page. We're uh, just got the trailer going. Everything seems to be all right. We're getting something to eat, and then we have a four, five-hour drive. So our mission now is to take it from Page down to Fort McDowell at the RV park, where we have a place to start for free. Anyway, oh, lots of work. Anyway, fun weekend. Glad you joined us. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, and please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Anyway, take care. Bye. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.